Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is a love connection reading session for you Pisces. I hope you're okay. I hope you're fine. The reading for today Pisces is the next 24 hours. This is a love connection, love advice, love tarot reading session for my Pisces friends out there. I hope you're okay. I hope you're fine. Before I start Pisces, I want to thank you for your amazing support, for your likes, for your subscribe. For my subscribers, I want to give a shout out to you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thanks for being here. What is this? Oh, petals. I've got a long stem in here. I've got a flower here. Falling, falling off. Okay. And uh, for my guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button in the bell, click it now. Click subscribe. Click the bell if you're interested, if you're keen. And um, if you would like to further support my channel, guys, check the description box below. Follow me in follow me in my instagram check out my website check out my etsy store we've just restocked the um, manifestation bracelet if you buy that you'll get um a digital manifestation kit and a one card reading random reading from me okay so don't forget to put your email address a valid one and your sun sign all right so let's start your reading what is the message for Pisces over the next 24 hours please okay let's go so first two cards okay what is the message here four of pentacles king of cups okay oh, someone is holding back all right i think it is you you're holding back you're not letting your person know that you love them you miss them and they are in your thoughts um i see you pisces checking on this person looking at their viber their whatsapp checking them on their instagram their social media account you're holding back there's a grudge in here i really feel like it's connected to you you're holding back you had enough for some of you but you still love this person it's more of the the more the more you hold back the more you miss them the more you long for them the more you have this strong feeling to come out and just be together or talk okay let's look at the energy of your person because i felt like it's you let's get more details okay, okay. yeah you want to come over okay you want to see this person six of swords you want to clear your thoughts and go to the direction and follow your heart okay that's what i'm getting in here five of swords four of pentacles okay you're thinking of a way to approach this person um, I think this person hurt you or cheated on you, but someone disappointed each other. There's a disappointment. There's a disappointment energy in here, and someone is. They're actually, you know, the six of swords. This is moving on. This is moving on. But I felt like the way the boat. If you look at this, guys. Okay, and sorry. If you look at the six of swords, this is I'm moving on, I'm forgetting, I'm letting go. Normally, this is the sword. But I felt like in this reading, they're coming back or you're going back into something to confront someone. Okay, so over the next 24 hours, I really feel like there is a call to confront someone and you're holding back because if you let your feelings interfere, you might forgive this person right away or you might surrender. Because I felt like for some of you, Pisces, you've got every right to be angry, to be upset. But there is a need to talk or to confront. And I felt like for some of you, you're so soft, you can easily be persuaded. So that is your fear, that you love, you like this person. It's, it's more of the, the, the minute you talk, the, the moment you connect, you forget all those stuff that you or them or maybe mutual, you did together negative things that you said or you, they did together so there's a strong vibe in here that you're scared to show them that you like them you love them so deeply because not about rejection it's just more of you probably want to know if this person loves you likes you or miss you so you would like them to step forward like step back or you hold your feelings even though deep in your heart you miss them you like them because you want them to step into the light and show it to you before you actually express yourself of love. Because I felt like this is you, King of Cups. You're holding back your feelings. For some of you, you're pretending like, I'm going to leave you. I'm going to move on. I'm going to forget you. 
but you stalk them. You think of them at night. For some of you, uh, four of wands, six. Yeah, there is a lot of hidden energy, hidden agenda. Um, let's look at the energy of your person. Because I get your energy in here, not your person. Okay. Um, they're stuck. They cannot decide whether to call you or to text you. I felt like this person is still upset with you or still disappointed on the disappointed on the last conversation. Yeah, undecided. Okay, all right. So there is um, a call for you and this person to to just wait. Okay, don't be impulsive. I think you need to give this person um, more time. I don't think they have made a decision yet because this is of Eight of Swords. And for you, Pisces, I get that you need to be consistent on what you really want to do. Okay? Be true to yourself. Okay? Because I felt like there's a strong feeling here that you want to say something. You want to express something. And yet, you're holding a spite or a grudge. It's not about them. It's about your feelings. Okay? It's about your feelings wanting to say something whether they reject you, ignore you, forget you, not your problem. As long as you let it out, that, that, that core feelings that you have, you're done, you're dusted. At least you have a closure. Just an advice. The, just what I pick up from here, okay? Because I felt like you're holding back for a pentacles. You're holding back your feelings. And then you look at their social media. And then you look at the pictures and the message and the video and stuff like that. It just heighten up your love. It just make it more complicated. Why can't you just say whatever what, what whatever it is that you want to say? Okay? And um, okay, I'll get one more card because I saw the six of wands and the eight of swords. Mm, yeah. Like what I said, just speak your mind and your heart and the passion that's inside of you. It's not about them, it's about you being through to your core. Okay? I hear a good news. There's a good news. Okay? There's a good news in this storyline. There is a good news in this storyline. I feel like this first reading, okay, because I'm going to I'm going to be delivering I'm going to be picking up four energy in here. If you have Pisces, your intuition is telling you just reach out, be casual, be fun. Do it. Don't expect as soon as you release the message, it's released, it's gone. Breathe and then manifest something great is going to happen. And for some of you, yes, there is good news. Okay. Just a reader and an energy advisor from here. It depends on you whether you're going to do it or not. Okay. And then let's look at the other energy. Pisces. Oh, you've got here the lover's card. Lover's card. The temp. Oh, very impatient. Oh, someone is going to come back. You break up, you're separated. They're so excited to go back to see you. I see a very tight hug and kiss for some of you. And for some of you, I see um, a going to bed scenario. Okay. So over the next 24 hours, there's someone who is eager to call you and text you. They so miss you. Okay. The message, the call, it will not take long. It will go to say, I, I miss you. I want to see you. And... That's it. The rest is history. It end up in the bed for some of you. <laughs> but this is good. This is good because I don't want to have a long talk. I don't want to argue. I don't want to talk so long on the phone. I just really want to see you. Okay? If it's safe to see you. Or for some of you guys, um, let's not send the message. Let's talk. I'm really getting it. That's, you know, I miss you so much. I'm not contented with you and me texting. Let's talk face-to-face -face or maybe a video call. But if someone is missing you big time, then you've got here over the next 24 hours, ooh, seven of pentacles, ten of cups. Okay. So for some of you, um, I get that you're hesitating, you know, seven of pentacles. I've, I have invested effort and time, but I'm not sure how to proceed. Your person's energy is they're not actually happy right now, okay? They're not happy with what's happening between the two of you. I get cards. Um, in They're upset or disappointed. And I see as well in your energy, Seven of Pentacles, that you're hesitating. You have made forward or you have made progress with this person and so they are to you. 
but something is blocking your energy. Both of you are blocked, okay? Both of you does not want to move. Your person is, I don't want to move because I'm upset. You are, I don't know what to do next. You have a lighter vibe. Your person is more upset or angry or disappointment. It's clear. They don't want a message. Okay, it's a very stubborn energy. It's just, I'm not going to make a move, Pisces, okay? Seven of Wands, you're open to talk. This is you, seven and seven. You're open to talk, but you're hesitating to call or reach out. Your person will not do that over the next 24 hours plus two to three days. Yeah, you're tired. You're tired chasing them, giving them the love. You're kind of tired. If you're tired and you don't feel reaching out, calling or texting or following up, then don't do it. Follow your core. Let your soul, your mind, your spirit rest up when it comes to love romantic okay so with this reading over the next 24 hours if you don't feel like reaching out you know relax and love yourself self-care self-love that is the best cure for love sick person for some of you it's not the end of the world this is temporary ten of cups okay because this person is upset this person is angry Okay, if they're angry, if they're upset, it means you are, they are affected of you and what you did. If you make them upset, then you matter somehow to them. You know, the more you made a person upset, the more you matter to them because they don't expect that to, for you to do that or say that, something like that. They're more affected because you matter to them. You give them an energy of something that you, they don't expect you to do. So I don't think this is um lifetime this is temporary okay so recuperate rest up rest up your thought with this person don't force your don't force yourself for something that you don't like to do listen to your intuition okay so the next reading would be the chariot card you could be dealing with a cancer and a two of cups cancer scored by pisces okay um someone is gonna follow up very fast very progressive okay um, there is a follow-up coming through. It could be from you. It could be from them. But, but I felt like this is, this reading is, um, a situation where, um, you haven't, you haven't had a conversation with this person over the last, um, seven days, two weeks. Okay. Not longer than a month. Okay. So you haven't spoken to this person for the last seven days or for the last two weeks. Uh, for some of you, mid of July. So the last conversation was around mid of July. Um, this week, they are in a hurry to call or text. They want to save the relationship or the connection. Okay? So get ready. There is a fast-moving person that would like to save the connection or restore the connection. Okay? So this is your reading. These are your messages. I hope you like it. I hope it resonates with you. If you do, don't forget to click like. Don't forget to click subscribe. And I'll see you soon again, guys. And thank you, thank you so much for your amazing support. And have a great day and week. And see you soon in the weeklies. Bye-bye.